Hey, welcome. We're going to go through how to edit and upload the service for St. Andrew's Church. This document is the one we'll be following through. If you've got it, that's great. If not, that's okay too, because we'll step through everything. So first off, what you're going to need is the service itself. It's recorded on a USB drive, and it's called QDrive Multi. Double click, and go to Allen and Heath Q, and we record as multi-track, so it's USB multi-track. Scroll down to the very bottom, which is 037 for this example, and what's going to show are all of the tracks that we use, or that we have. The next thing you're going to need is Audacity or some other uh, editing software. So we'll get that one up and running really quickly as well. And while we're waiting for that to come up, oh, it came up really big. There. We're going to select track one, two, three, four, seven, and 15. Because those are the usual mics that we have. The pulpit mic for scripture reading, the floor mic for announcements, the choir mics, the overhead mic, and Reverend John. If we have a guest speaker, a lot of the times they'll be on track 16. So we can take those and we will drag them over. Now it's going to take a minute and a half to go through all of these pieces, maybe a bit longer. So I'm going to hit pause for now until that's all done. All right, so we are back to this and you can see there's about a minute left. So in that minute I wanted to talk to you about all of these different tracks. Track 1 to track 16 are all the different channels on the board itself. So for every fader on our board, there is one track. Track 17 and 18 are actually a stereo recording of everything you did. So if we were just going to import the stereo piece and, and not play around with all of the different tracks to make things nice and clean, we could just import these two and literally turn them into a... Um, into the recording itself without having to do too much other than maybe amplify it a little bit. So you'll see we're running a little bit slower here. You can speed this up a little bit if you really want to by taking that whole directory, the uh, Q37 or the, the latest directory, copying it onto your hard drive and then opening it up because then it'll only take a few seconds per to do that. And we're just about ready. So I'm going to minimize our tracks. go to maximize the screen here and sometimes it'll say not responding don't worry too much about it because it's still processing all of them to make sure that they're all getting in so we'll give it a minute as we go through while we're doing that we can take a look there's a few things on the side here it talks about which track we've got there are a couple of buttons which we can show you about this slider is an amplification slider within the sample itself so you can play around with that to make one track louder or softer if you want to. And left and right, we'll use it actually in a minute. Oops. Too many buttons too many times. There we go. Let's make it large. So the left and the right here will actually allow us to move things over to the left channel or the right channel. And that's really handy for tracks three and four, which are our choir. So favorite buttons for me are up here, are our zoom buttons. I'm going to fit the project to width. Hello, there we go. For some reason, it's really slow today. Uh, maybe it's because I'm recording at the same time. Now, let's have a look. You can see there's very low levels here, which really won't be able to be heard too well. You know, very many low levels here because we had communion today, and we will go through and look at that. The one thing you'll notice, though, is this track here, track two, doesn't have anything on it. So today we didn't have any announcements from the from the floor. So we can just erase that one. So now we've got all of these. They all fit nicely on the screen. If you didn't if they didn't fit on the screen or if you have a smaller resolution screen, you can always bring them up like this and I bring them up a little bit cuz all we really need to see are the amplification and left and right pieces. This is information you don't really need to work with that at all. It just shows what we actually how we actually recorded it. So now that we're here, I'm going to highlight 
each individual track and I'm going to amplify them to a minus 6 dB. So we go to effect, amplify, and then I put peak, new peak amplitude of minus 6 and then I click on OK and this is going to take a few minutes so I'm going to hit pause and I'll do all of them and I'll come back when that's done. All right, so we're back. I can see that we've got a lot of pieces in here. Um, you can see some pieces here in line with the scripture reading. We today um, adjusted things so that it would pick up some of the people speaking so it will sound kind of interesting when you hear them talking. And then we had communion today, like I mentioned, and it's all here, so it's very low level. We might select this and amplify it later, but we'll have to have a listen first. Um, the very bottom track is Reverend John. So if you really want to and you don't want to be confused, you can name each track. So I'm going to go Pulpit. Oops, got to click OK first. And then this is Choir Right. This is... Actually, this is choir right, because <laughs> I'm backwards. Um, and this one is choir left, so we'll just change this to an L. Oops, L. And this one is over choir. And this one is John, Reverend John. So now you can actually see what each of these track is actually doing and as I reference them it'll be a lot easier so play we'll start to play things right from the beginning and, oh, I was listening earlier that's why so we'll stop I'll hit home play will go right from the very beginning so you can hear the choir in the background a little bit or the organ in the background here here and I'm going to highlight all of the tracks and I'm just going to go for the prelude and probably this is the uh, introit so I'm going to zoom to selected width so you'll hear that now I'm going to click on up here and you can hear crackles and pops right so that's sort of just before the beginning so that's where the choir starts. So I'm going to select here. I'm going to select from here over and drag this all the way over to the beginning so that we know now that the choir basically will start here. So I have a couple of seconds of openness or nothing really. And we will hit delete. And the reason I selected all of them and hit delete instead of just the three tracks that have sound is because I want to keep everything aligned. So if I go back, you'll still see Reverend John there. So this is the call to worship. And yeah, I think it's because of my recording system. It's actually taking a little bit more time. Um, so I'm going to hit pause for a little bit. I don't know. I won't hit pause. We'll just see what happens, and I can actually take some of this out if I need to. There. So, there we go. You can see where we sit. Um, choir singing. And then, if we go to here, you'll hear Reverend John speaking as the call to worship. This morning, as we gather for worship, we're going to share... So, you heard there was a bit of a gap there, so... Let's select all of these tracks again in this area and have a look and see what it looks like. So you can see from about here to here, there is a gap. And that is on the order of, you know, 10 seconds, um, 12 seconds. Yeah, it's about 12 seconds of uh, dead, dead, deadness. Excuse me. 
So if we hit space, we can actually get everything through. And it's just dead air. You can't really hear anything going on here. So what I'm going to do, is since I've selected this whole section, I'm going to delete it. You can delete that. I don't know what's going on, why my system's not running well enough here. There, there's a delete. So if I start here, right near the end, I hear the choir. This morning as we gather for worship, so that's we're about a second or two in between. So we'll do that and we're going to zoom back out. Now we can go and look in different areas and see if there's spaces. Usually before Reverend John's sermon, there's a quite a large space, so I like to select and check that out and see how big it is. And from here, where the choir ends to wherever Reverend John starts, that's actually quite a long piece. You can see it's about 24 seconds. So I know Reverend John likes to pray just before he gets started. Um, and so we will leave a little bit, but I'm going to take out a good chunk of it, especially the spots where you can see little peaks, little blips. Those are usually noises that we don't want anyways. So let's hear what that sounds like. Let us pray. So it's about three and a half seconds. The light of the world. So that's not too bad. Let's go zoom back out. And you can see there's quite a bit of other stuff in here. Um, right here, this is a hymn. Or, no, this is the uh, offering. So we only have the one microphone there open for the offering. Because we don't want to hear people clicking and clacking and getting anything funny there. I'm just going to put the volume up so I can hear it a bit better. You might hear a bit of an echo from my microphone, but that's me hearing it. All right, now that I've actually set things up so I can hear them and not actually have too much echo for you, we'll keep going. Let's look. So this would be an announcement set. Um, I'm going to play a little bit to hear what it sounds Pathways like. Pathways to Wisdom. There we are. So I'd encourage you to mark that day to be part of this, and I'd also ask you to think about... So unfortunately, there was a little bit of a mix-up for that piece, and there's going to be some dead spots here from the time Reverend John says something here. ...of prayer. Uh, do check that out. I'm going to invite Clarence Swanton to come and share an announcement with us. So... The microphone was turned off here, dead space. Boy, was he open to come to St. Andrews. Uh, it was, it so was really impressive. Um, he was still it's not going to sound 100%, but it will help shorten the service a bit, because right now it's an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of that. Boy, was he open to come to St. Andrews. And we're uh, some here on the end, too. Yeah, that's them shuffling around. So I'm going to get rid of that. Hang on a minute. Did I goof up here? No, everything still looks and like it's And let us gather our hearts properly. and minds in prayer. And let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we come to you this yeah, day. Yeah, there's the problem. You can hear a bit of an echo. Of That's because even we have uh, this nearer. microphone up. So I'm going to go back and zoom back in for a minute and zoom out so I can see a little bit more. Yeah, so let's get rid of all of that. And now the thing you can do here Gracious and loving God, we is we can mute it. Gracious and loving God, so you we hear the difference. come to you this day in need of your presence even more. There's a lot more echo and airiness with love. that on. So I'm going to unmute it. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Yeah. And I'm going to move over a little bit there. You can see this whole section is Reverend John being picked up by Mike One. Here's 
like here's his microphone which actually has everything on it and here's where it was killed so it'll sound kind of funny so we can actually go into generate silence here and then to take that whole minute 22 and turn it into silence so if we go back and we start playing right. gracious and loving god we it's come a lot to you less this echo day. now so that helps out and we can clean things up a little bit let's go back out scroll down i'm just shift putting shift and scrolling with my mouse button because it's a lot easier for me to do that there's a lot of extra stuff in here let's hear what that sounds like Please remain standing as we say together the Apostles' Creed. Uh, it's in your hymn books if you can't remember the words. Sometimes I can't, so 500. So, Reverend John had made a mistake and not turned his mic on. That's why he said, hey, hang on. So we'll clean that up to make him sound really good, and then we will go back and um, get rid of this portion here as well. So I'm just going to highlight all of this. Yeah. All of this here, and I'm going to zoom in. And then we listen to the end. There we go. That's the end of that. Please remain standing. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of this section here where Reverend John forgot to turn on his microphone. And we'll delete it completely. There's a really funky click here. So I'm going to go back and make it silent. Please remain standing. There. And then we'll just take this out because we don't need it and turn it into silence. There we go. Let's hear that sounds. Please, please remain standing as we say together the Apostles' Creed. Uh, it's you in your go. hymn books if you... So that works out really well. That's how you clean up little mistakes that are on the recording. It's, it's not that difficult. It's not a big deal. Now, what's happening here? Was conceived by the Holy Spirit. So that's the Apostles' Creed. So we pick that up. This morning, as is traditional around the season of... Now, you hear a lot of that echo there. Let's get rid of it. Because Mike's two and two, or sorry, three, four, and seven were up this whole time. We can just get rid of it, make it silent. The reason I'm not deleting these sections is because if I deleted them and not track one and track 15 or Reverend John in the pulpit, the whole section from choir left and right would be completely out of whack and out of um, sync with the rest of the service and you'd hear some really funky stuff. So that's all clicking and popping. Please be seated. So I will leave the please be seated in there and then I will go up to here. Drag it back a little bit. Check it out. And delete it. So let's hear what it sounds like. Please be seated. This morning, as is traditional around the season of Lent and March, is by intinction. We have pre-ripped the bread uh, to aid in your uh, time. All right. Well, let's go back out to the whole service again and see where we sit. Alrighty. You know what? I think we're really good. Let's take a look here and see what's happening here for a minute. ...into something holy and meaningful and set apart for you. That's the Lord's Prayer, so we're good there. Some more dead space. Hmm. Seems to be a lot of dead space in our services. We'll have to work with that. I, uh, I'm going to zoom in and have a look. I'm going to hit pause for now, and I'm going to do a bit more cleanup here and there. I uh, won't bore you with it, and we'll come back to the next step. All right, I've cleaned a lot of things up, and now I'm down to the very end. This is the end of the service, and you can see we're down to about a, an hour and five minutes. This is the benediction. It's the last time ever John speaks, and typically I go listen for the word amen. Just like you. Amen. So you can hear. Just like you. So at 105.43, um, down here in the audio position. So if I move my audio position to Amen. there, here. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah, so about here. And you hear the benediction start. So if I go to 143. Oops. Amen. Come on. It's because you guys are all watching me. That's why I'm messing this up so much. But here we go. We're at this point. You can see I started at 144. So if I come back a little bit, um, 143.79. So that gives us a little bit at the very end after he says amen before it does. So let's hear the end of it. Like you. Amen. And that's the end of our service. So let's look at the whole thing. You can see we're now at 105 minutes instead of 115. Uh, or sorry, 105, 115. An hour and five minutes instead of an hour and 15. We've cut out about 10 minutes overall from the service. If we look at it, everything looks like there's, uh, it's been cleaned up a little bit. Um, there's nothing major that's spiking anywhere. So what I'll do is I'm going to select everything, and I do that by hitting Control and A. Now, oh, the one other thing I haven't done. Choir left, choir right. So that pans it, so that now when I make this two tracks, this this microphone will be all the way to the left. This microphone will be all the way to the right, so you can hear the choir in full, beautiful stereo. Now we go to tracks, and we go to mix, and we go to mix and render. You'll notice that I haven't hit save any time through here. Um, I don't typically save the projects, but if you're going to be taking more than um, one session, I would save it as a project, which is file, save as, project, and then name it after the... Uh, time. But in about a minute and a half, um, we'll show you what we actually do once this is all set to save it as an mp3 file. Okay, so magically, we're down to two tracks. That's what the mix and render does. It gives us a full left and right stereo. So if I select a section here where the choir is singing. Oh. You can hear the men on the right and the women on the left a little bit. So because a lot of people don't listen on pure headphones like what I'm doing right now, it actually mixes really nicely in a room through a regular uh, playback device. And if they listen to it on their phone or if they listen to it on an uh, iPad or, or tablet or something, then it's going to sound okay that way too. So we've got all of this set and we're all ready to go. So we'll go File, Save Project. Oops export project as an mp3 and we're going to go back to oh we'll just put the time in 2020 underscore 03 underscore 01 because that's the date today and then we go service with an underscore this way it just makes it look nicely you can see i've kind of done that all the way through um, the ordination service from diane was a little different but We've got them all named that way. Now it actually asks for something. And I've actually saved everything um, for uh, how to do this separately as a sermon and service XML file. But what you can do is you can fill it out and you can see, I didn't save it. I haven't saved it since January, which is bad. But if we go March 01, 2020 service, we go 09, oops, 09. You can add the first Sunday at Lent if you want here. Is this track nine? Let me check. If we go over to here. All right, so if we actually take and take a look at our services, you'll see Lent 1, A New Identity, which is March 1st, that's really weird, um, is track number 9. So you can see that we've got that there. So I'll just bring that over, and we have track 9 here. I'm going to click on Save, Service, Overwrite. That way it's up to date for next week. And then if I click on OK, it's going to take me a few minutes to get... Um, this set. Actually, hang on. Before we do that, let's go through here and let's actually take this and amplify the service. It's at 4 minus 3. If 
That way it stays relatively low. It doesn't blow anybody away and it never peaks. So we'll give it 45 seconds. All right, we're almost done. You'll see this expand just a little bit. There, now we're done. Now let's go back and do that. Export, MP3. Let's go to, um, call it 2020 underscore 03 underscore 01 because that's the date and I do it in this order so that it um, arranges it by uh, by the actual date if I wanted to go by name and you can see that here I've kind of messed them up but you can see them January all the way through and then we call it service so that we know it's a service and we click on save this comes up and I've done it earlier so you can actually fill this all out um, and then when you're done, you click on OK. And now it's taking 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So we'll be back once that's done. So we're almost done with the service. When this is over in 3 seconds, what we can do is we can close it. And what we'll do is we'll start again with a new one for the sermon. So that's all done. And if we wanted to check out where it was, I keep it under Documents. Audacity, and you can see here all of these pieces and 20, oh, 2000, where did my 03 go? I must be blind, there it is. I am really blind, so you can see where we sit and you can see all of these other ones. So let's close that for now. We can close this one for now. And we're not gonna save this project because I don't typically save the Audacity projects, they're fairly large. And that brings us back to uh, brings us back to where we sit. Let's see if I can actually get this to close. Yeah, there we go. So, sermon-wise, because we also do the sermon, let's go back to our file explorer. Let's go to Q Drive, HQ. There we go. Multi-track. Scroll down to the very bottom. 37 is the latest one. Remember I said Reverend John was track 15. So if we take track 15, we start Audacity and we drag it over into uh, drag it over into Audacity. Like this, which will take a minute or so. And then what we can do is cut everything out, amplify it, and possibly take out anything that goes click or pop or because then it'll sound really good and we're good to go. Alrighty, so that's all done. Maximize this. And remember what I said, we've got our favorite button right here. And I will guarantee you that this right here is the sermon. So what we need to do is get rid of everything else. We'll do a macro delete on a lot of things here. That gets rid of all of that. Now let's zoom into the section here so that we can see where Reverend John's talking about the hymn. Everything the same. Not there. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. There's the amen right there. So everything from here that way is not needed. So we can delete it. Oops. Delete it. Let's hear. Amen. One, two, three, four. That's a bit long. So let's take out a couple more seconds. There. Let's zoom back out. There's a lot at the beginning here, almost a minute of silence. So let's get rid of that. Uh, let's zoom, zoom in to the very beginning. Let's hear what he has to say with this piece. Let us pray. That's his let us pray. That's where he starts his service. So... Let's go back, get con look at the whole piece, control A, effects, amplify, minus six for now, and we'll give it about 10 seconds. So you can see I'm moving a little bit quicker here because this is about the speed that I work at. Oh. And that way it uh, doesn't take you more than an hour to do both the service and the sermon. Let's. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here because I like to look through for sections like this. So you hear the click and the 
from him uh, opening his mouth. So I just get rid of a lot of those. It doesn't really change the pace of his sermon. Let us pray. Light of the world, we yearn. Whoa, that didn't quite work right. So I messed something up there. Let's go back a little bit. Yeah, just get rid of the it. That little bit. Now that should sound better. Let us pray. Light of the world, we yearn for your radiance to brighten our present and illuminate our future. Do you hear that? So I like to go through and get rid of a lot of those, just little bits here and there, because it makes it sound a little bit more professional. Um, it makes it sound good for us. It makes us sound good as sound guys. Of what you'd most like to say. See, there was another one right here. And I do this. This is what I do. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I like to go through and do all of them. I'd like to. So, and I try to get just the click sound out. And it's not every sentence that he has it, but there seems to be some stuff. He's a pa some stuff here and the click here. So I'm going to get rid of the click. And I'm going to get rid of the little shuffle piece. Weber. She's a pastor, a theologian. That didn't quite sound right. So control Z is nice. It's Weber. She's a pastor, a theologian. Yeah, that sounds okay, even with a little pop. Oops, not zoom, silly. It's Weber. Alrighty. Yeah, that's another shift. We can leave those in. It makes it sound more human sometimes. It's just the clicks kind of drive me nuts a little bit. But that's my personal opinion. If you don't want to spend the time doing it, you don't have to. I'm going to go through and finish this off, and then we'll get back to it in a sec. All right, so I'm at the end. I'm going to zoom back out. Um, it's about a 17-minute sermon. Uh, Reverend John's go anywhere from 15 to 20, 25 minutes, so it's not a big deal. There is this one gap in here that I like to look at, but sometimes gaps are important in a sermon. So let's hear what he has to say. Thing to the weak in a world that admires only the strong. God bless you. So he purposely left a bit of a gap here. So we'll leave it in. Um, it's a bit long, but I think we'll just leave it for dramatic effect. Imagine yourself in... So let's go back out. You can see that we've got the whole thing. I'm going to select it. I'm going to re-amplify it a little bit more. Uh, amplify. Let's go back. Let's go up to minus three like we did with the service. And you'll get the entire service that way. Again, we've already amplified it once, so it's not going to take as much time. Now, there we go. Let's go to File, Export as MP3, and it's the exact same thing, only this time when we do this, it's... And we call it Sermon. And we hit Save. Now, what I've done with the sermons is... to click load not save that was silly sermon open so you can see we have Reverend John in there and then I usually use the title of the sermon to go there and if I go over to oops and if I go over and I actually look at the schedule you can see I've got it here I'm going to take the service. It's called a new identity. And I usually don't have the pieces there. And it's actually sermon number nine for the year. So we'll have actually 54 because of Easter. 55 because of Easter, Christmas Eve, uh, and New Year's Eve and so forth. So that's why I like to do it. Just by week right now, we're okay, but as we go through, it'll be a little bit more. So if I click on OK, now it's going to take 30 seconds to do this. The service, because there's a lot more to it, took a lot longer. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we're back. That just finished up. So that's all saved. If I go over to where I've actually have them saved in my documents, you'll see all of them are here. Here are the two services or the service and the sermon from this week. In the next video, we'll show you how to take these and put them onto the website.
Thanks. We'll talk to you soon.